Okay, so this is my transistor tester plus curve tracer and uh, basically any kind of semiconductor device I have I can connect it to this and I can test it in some way or another so let's do a demo. First I'm just going to start out with the simple diode transistor tester. There's four LEDs here. Um, there's going to be a circuit diagram to all of this at the end of the video. And if I um, connect these two wires together, you can see all four LEDs turn on. And if I connect a diode, half of the LEDs turn on. And if I hook up a, let's say, an unknown transistor, of course I know what it is, but I'm just going to say unknown. Hook it like that, and hook it like that. Now that's the base, because you can tell all the LEDs are on. That's the collector. And now if I, and you see, because, um, Let's see here. And you can see the transistor has gain in this configuration. And the two outwardest LEDs are on. And that tells us that this is a PNP transistor. And it's a 2N3906. Now let's see if I can get another. Here we go. Let's say this is an unknown transistor. I'll tap it here. That's the base because both of them go on. And see if it has gain in this configuration. And it does. And because it has gain in this configuration and the lights in the middle are on, that means that this is an NPN transistor. And this is the emitter, base, and collector. So I'm going to move on to the curve tracer and show what that can do. Okay, so right here we have the three connections for the curve tracer. We have the base connection, or bias supply, with the emitter collection, and we have the connection, and we have the collector connection. So let's say I take this. NPN transistor right here. Hook it up. I'm sorry, I got a loose connection here. There we go. Now I'm going to connect the base lead. See the waveform changes a bit. And now I'll turn up the voltage to the base. And you can see the transistor turn on fully, at least in one direction. There we go. Now I'm going to reconfigure this for a PNP transistor. Okay, now I've got it hooked up for a PNP transistor, and it looks the opposite of an NPN. Now I'll hook up the base, and I'll give it some negative voltage on the base. And let's see here, what I do wrong. Uh, oh, that's what I did wrong. Give me a second. There we go. So I can turn up the voltage on the base, make the transistor turn on. Okay, now I'm just going to pull out a random transistor from my box and see if we can test it. Okay, this is a transistor from the 1960s. And I'm going to hook it up. It looks a little weird at first, 
but let's see here. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, so I'm going to connect it up and I'm going to adjust the current range on the bias voltage. There we go, now we're getting some transistor action. So this transistor has such low gain that I have to short out the 200 K ohms of resistance I have in series with the uh, 9 volt battery for the bias supply. But with enough bias on it, it acts like a normal PNP transistor. Just with really low gain. Okay, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching.